one of my absolute worst combos in the 87. I I, I cannot ever get the car to turn. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I know that I always struggle running a loose car, but... Strength of field is. 4, like just in practice without draft, I was dead tight. Right, couldn't turn. Today, look for opportunity. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be probably struggling, burning up the right front, and not keeping up. But that could all work out well if they explode into a big pile of cars. Five cars left to Who grid. knows though. We'll just drive and see what happens. We got Bryson here, and I think uh, AJ Stevens from the guy who we raced for dead last for 500 cautions in the MX-500. But uh, yeah, no other names that we know. There's a guy named Dale Tanhart in here, so. I gave him a Dale Earnhardt scheme. I had to. And have a good like, run. I didn't even Waiting look to see if he already had that grid. as his pain, but Everyone I had to give that it. to him. So, we'll see if the number 20 can go full Earnhardt and win it. He is starting back behind us. A whole lot of people starting back behind us. We are the number 17 car. But, uh... Yeah, just go do my normal thing of being slow and hoping they wreck. But not not a bunch of single car spins. Those make this boring. I want uh, 10 laps from the end, the whole field dies, I get a free pass. We're the number 9 though, so... I'm going to have to finish 10th, or better, maybe 11th. How many cars are in this? There's 25. Okay, we can get away with like a 12th or 13th and just hold even. That is Bryce up ahead of us in the Wendy's car. I let him choose what car he got because I don't think he had a paint scheme or it wasn't showing up on the uh, IR sidekick. So, not a whole lot of people in the Pontiac, so there was extras that I could put in and uh, let him have a choice. Get ready, going green. But yeah, I'm gonna have to feel what it's like in the draft. I don't know how much of a lift we're gonna have to do. But just try to stay out of the mess is the pace step number is in. one. Green flag, green flag. Wide already. Still there. With how bumpy this is and how bad prediction code's been lately, I do not uh, see three wide working out well. Bryce heading to the back, we'll head back there, but didn't feel like it was a good idea to do that with him at the same time. Car outside. We'll get Mac tonight around us, and here comes Earnhardt. Hello, let him go. Go get him, Dale. Big old lift. Especially entering low. I think it's just I don't turn the wheel enough. I think that's my biggest problem because I'm so used to short track 8 to 1 that I under 
steer. And don't use the, uh, the wheel enough. But with how bouncy this is, how much it's thrown the car around, I already have a really hard time understanding what the car is doing. Which then, uh, just makes me not fully understand what I need to do. Right now, I'm not getting, you know, felt a little tight off the corner there, so I'm going to have to probably back it down a little bit more on exit. Just not get on it too hard. It's not like that acceleration is really helping me out. Oh, we got one in the wall back there. Things spread out pretty far, and I don't feel like I'm riding. I mean, we're not entering the corner as hard as I can, but I don't even know what that speed would be, the max that we can enter the corner, so... We're in a safe spot. That is all that matters. And hopefully by lap 15 we can still turn. And then we can start passing people. Right now, I'm just going to sit and not worry about anything. No need to pass. I just have to drive it harder, and I don't need to wreck anyone I'm trying to figure out how to get this thing to turn. God. Already feels like it's pushing. Just losing the front end. They are running into each other up there. If I see that again, I may just decide to go visit Bryce, grab some Wendy's in the back. I'm losing touch with the cars in front of me. This guy looks like he wants to go. I'm just gonna let him go. I'm just gonna let him all go. I don't need to be on anyone's outside coming out of the four. That's just asking the wreck. What's up, Wendy's? I don't know, with the 11 just having a peek there, felt like he was getting annoyed that I couldn't keep up, so. Better I just go back here and try to learn something, but... I just do not have the feel for this. I almost liked it better when it was dead loose on entry. Driving a tight car around here is just really difficult. But, at least we're logging laps and not under caution. Yet. I see I'm nearly three wide there. I don't know, I feel like might lose the pack. I just, I can't get it to turn on corner entry, and then right here. It's just the transitions are really messing me up, so I don't know if I gotta kick the rear 
out a little, do a little brake tap. But here, Talladega, smooth Daytona. Just something does not mesh with me. But middle of the pack is starting to catch up to the lead pack as they get more spread out and not double file. I'm not seeing anyone get like the horrible push like we see at date or at Talladega. But it could be coming. Three wide second lane of the pack. Just trying to watch a little bit. I might have to lower my uh, view just a tiny bit so I can see them going through the corner through my window net. That way we don't. Uh, Get windies all over our nose. Hopefully the spotter says if they're wrecking, but you can't always trust them. Sometimes they're wrecking, but it's just the car got really sideways and no caution. I kind of need the draft on the straightaway. make up for how bad I am in the corners. The cut down's probably not helping. But again, I'm just lost. It's just something that you can easily do in real life. Just trying to see over the top of the window net. Make sure that I don't see cars going sideways. to go in, in too deep. You got that loose car on my tail. Don't want to lift off. Alright, they're back to a bunch of double file. Good news. So I think if they get single file like the whole field goes single file, I think I will lose them. Very tight three wide. Looking up there in the top left, everything looks good. Practice bidding. Uh oh, may not have to worry about that. He stayed low because I kind of deer and headlighted it. It's way too high. That's the 19 car. Didn't really see what was the cause of that because he was pretty far back. But I also don't want to do that same thing I just did to Bryce and make him overdrive the entry. about a second off of the pack, but I still think that front group is going slow enough that it's fine. Although they might be going quicker side by side than I can go by myself. I can't turn. Well, we might beat someone. That's a positive. We've got 29 laps for fuel. We'll do 
right sides only. Although last time I did that at a speedway, I was all of a sudden dead loose and couldn't drive. gallons of fuel, it says. I'm going to go ahead and just take six or eight and see. I've been using half a gallon every lap. But that number is going up, so yeah, we'll just take because two tires is going to take about 10 seconds anyway, so if we just do one can of fuel and there's not the switch over to grab the second can, because I think there is a little delay for that, so if you go over 11 gallons, the stop takes longer. Because of the can switch, I think that's in there. I feel like it's in there, but maybe it's not. Maybe I'm full of it. I had to double check on if I was full of something earlier today because I went in the garage with uh, one of the late model races I was doing and my wheel was turned from when I had stopped on track. And uh, the values were kind of hitting slightly different, but it was just because I hadn't reset the garage to allow changes. And I was like, oh shit. Didn't that used to be a thing where you uh, could turn the wheel to make the car pass tech in the garage? So I asked Kenny before this race, I was like, was that a thing or am I just making this up? And yeah, that used to be a thing where you go in the garage, turn your wheel hard left or hard right, it would change the corner weights, and then you could pass tech. Rice, were you looking at that airplane? Nearly ran into the wall watching the jet land. <laughs> it was really high there. At least he got it to turn. I would have been in the wall. Looks like they're about to go three wide for the lead. We're still single file for dead last. As you should expect from this channel. Um, does not look like we're going to get any help from people falling off because it's too strong of a field. Just be a battle between me and Wendy's. Cars are actually starting to turn a little better now. But we've probably, just because the pace has slowed down, so we're not going as fast. If there's going to be fall off and people having trouble turning, we're going to need it to go green the whole way because we get a caution here. It's never going to happen later in the race because we're almost halfway. I might need to pass Bryce. in the field. I don't know if I can go faster than him, but... Let's see what we got. I just don't want to get too close to him on entry and affect how he's wanting to enter the corner. 
I don't even know if I can pass him. I don't even know if I get in front of him if we're going to go faster. seconds ahead. Can we catch up? Do we want to catch up? Three seconds down to 2.9. Back up to three. left, 2.9, and 3, and now we're just holding even, and I think we're just stuck back, you fuck, I did not get it to turn down, lost the nose. see why he was ending up there. You don't keep it down here. It really doesn't turn. Coming up on halfway here. Yeah, they're just pulling away. We are bad. Fourteen laps, so we got a hit. That will put us inside 10 to go. Our fuel usage has went way up, so I'm kind of glad I did that to know what I need. So we're gonna do eight gallons because that'll get us 14 laps. You have another car falling off of the pack, so handling is starting to come into play, but just for very few because a lot of draft masters in here. I don't know how the guys up front run side by side and can go that speed the whole time. It's a whole nother skill set that I do not have. second in that corner. Oh, he is 
really slowing down in the corners. And it's gonna hold low. And lift off. I'm worried about the two tires getting way loose, but we can't afford to sit on pit road, especially this far back. Yep, we're going to need to be saved by a wreck. Like I said, a wreck 10 to go that wipes out a bunch of them is better than them wrecking all race long. But I will settle for a near dead last all green race. I know that's uh, gonna be boring to watch. I was struggling massively early, and nothing has changed other than Bryce and the 11 started struggling worse. But I mean, the number 23 car in here is a 3,400, so. And I'm guessing all of these people do this type of racing a lot more. Seven seconds to the pack. There's just no real good way of handling this. Pitting early, if multiple people do it, like AJ just went, so now I absolutely can't because he will get the lucky dog and I won't. And in this series with no wave arounds, it's just really difficult to get your lap back, so going a lap down is painful. Bryce is in the pits. But we could see all green. We're on lap 33. And that saved me. Looks like only a couple of cars. So, not going to do us much good. But it does allow me to rejoin the pack and. Bryce is going to be hurting because he pit at the same time AJ pit, and AJ is going to most likely get the lucky dog. All right, well, I'm going to take four tires now. And we'll be a little more... No, nah, I don't need to cut it short on fuel. I probably need to just pack it full so that it's as loose as it can be. Now open. Don't care about catching. I'm not gonna. 
make a difference for me. So, caution with 15 to go. Bryce is going to need another caution. Just so a last lap wreck he can gain spots. Adrian just got the lucky Five, dog. And Bryce three, is going to get stuck two, one. on the inside, right or actually as the leader. Alright, well, second chance here. Tires. We're 6977. 82's on the left. A lot of people doing four. Bit surprising. We'll let that guy have the spot. Why not? We have one tire set remaining. Line up single file. Catch the 17 car. it doesn't get wrecky. Although for Bryce's sake, it would be good to get him back on the lead lap. do I do here? Obviously sitting and waiting is not going to do us any good because there's only two people worse than us at tire saving. One to go. Next time by. Line up on the outside. Seven point zero two three. Got a car driving into the wall under caution. Single file restart. We're in 17th. I gotta get to like 13th. It's gonna take a couple of laps before they get all packed up, I assume. I mean, I guess we can just hang out at the back, because that's all we can do, really, and hope for a yellow. See up front. Yep, Bryce does have the field. He's in control as the last car on the lead lap in the outside lane. So I assume he'll go early, but he's going to need an instant caution. 19 just heading to the back because he's got to be lined up on the inside and really no need for him to get an incident. So he is being smart about it. Bryce has no choice but to start up there. Get ready, going green. Mm, second gear. Especially as bad as, as I am getting through the gears. Alrighty. What are the last 13 going to be like? Absolute chaos. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Green, green, green. Just give him the outside. There's, there's nowhere to go ahead. Uh, 
check it, and that was probably a bad idea to slow down for it, but I thought he was going to slide back up the track quicker. That was just the worst reaction. Did Bryce get his lap? Bryce got his lap. I thought he was going to slide back up the track a lot quicker. I completely effed that up. And I think I caused AJ damage. I don't know what the hell I was doing there, but that was not the right move. I should have just gunned it, but... I swear it looked like he was going to come back up the track a lot quicker. So I thought I could just hit the brakes and go under him when he did, but... Oh well. Although that would have been... A, he was going so slow at that point, it would have been really tight to get under him there. I guess I was expecting at race speeds and not at restart speeds. Maybe that's what threw me off. Maybe I'm just making excuses for a dumb decision. Good news though, Bryce got that, got that spot back. That's huge for him back on the lead lap. Did it the hard way. Held off the leaders for five feet. And now we get to pace around some more. Catch up, twenty one, car. Catch up, twenty one, car. Texting and driving. And my phone's plugged in, so I could only use my left hand. That was not working. Uh, at least we got short cautions. Get back going. me as you're trying to get back. Catch about 21, go. Okay, so, 19th, again, after giving up a few spots while the wreck was in progress. One left to green. Are there any cars out of this race? No. Only person... That's multiple laps down is the 19. He's 21 laps down. So he's just here for SR now. Inside 10 to go, so it's single file. Lappers to the back. What do I do, though? 
play it safe and hope, or try to actually race. I know what would be more exciting, but I'm not... I just don't want to wreck people. Like, I know that I don't have full control of this car. I know that I'm going to get way too tight if I go faster, so... I don't want to be the cause of a wreck trying to pass for 18. Because there's not much use in that. But I also need to be in position to get past the wreck, especially as we get later, because iRacing gives spots back, and this will end under yellow, so they'll be able to keep green. those spots as long as their engines don't blow. But the closer you are, the worse or more chance that you have of getting in it. And uh, apparently my Miss Wreck Brain is not working well today after right, the decision off. on the last one. It's going to be a big accordion. Green, green, green. Oh wow, they are all scrunched up together. This is going to get double filed quick. Thought we were going to have a big checkup, but that all worked out pretty damn well. And they're wrecking. Slow car download outside. Clear outside if you want it. I'm just gonna come down here. Caution, yellow flag. They want you in single file. Pit I did a better road. job on that car one. We lost a lot of 12. spots, but car. apparently we're not gonna get to race the rest of Catch this. Catch down 23 car. That acceleration sound at 4,200. Sounds good. Catch that 14, car. Yeah, so I think we lost a lot of spots there, but we were already at the back. Not gonna be a whole lot of people having to pit from that. I mean, there was a few crunches, but I don't think Anything's really going to put someone in the pits. I don't know why you would pit. If it's still driving, you may as well stay out and hold track position if we're not going to make it many laps. Or many corners, I should say. Too many going in this late. Catch up, thirteen car. So, um, that looks like we are back in nineteenth. I got this weird feeling I'm gonna finish nineteenth. Catch up, thirteen car. I don't know if I, because I'm recording this way early, two days ahead of when I'm going to release it. I might just edit this all together. Fast forward through the boring first 30 laps of me doing nothing and skip through the boring cautions and go straight to me getting wrecked on the last lap and finishing last. Catch up, 13, car. Catch 
Alright, so there's a few damage cars ahead, but I don't think that's going to play any role in anything. Just bodywork. The damage model is not very good. You have to hit extremely hard and knock off a tire or tow it out. Like, you, the four corners, but not even the corners, I guess, just the four wheel wells are the key areas. And uh, body damage is kind of meaningless, which is fine. Like, if you have too realistic of a damage model, prediction code and blinks and just weird stuff like that is going to screw it up. But if you have too lenient of a damage model, then you get situations like the next gen where that thing is indestructible and only a very hard hit on the motor can wipe it out. You get the Indy car that goes through phases where you wreck and you're done or you randomly get a three minute suspension replacement. It's been back and forth on how strict it is. Luckily right now it's on the pretty much you reckon you're done. On the wheel damage, but that one didn't look like too many hard hits, just a lot of bouncing around. So, five to go with the green. Will we make it around? Will we get into the window of this thing just ending under yellow? Because, like, with three to go, About to go green. you pretty much have to no lift a wreck because all the spots you gain through it. Like, you can't lose them because it's going to end under yellow. Post car is off. Time to do your job. I feel like we're pacing really poorly. Green, green, when I said that last time, and it was a great start. Didn't see that coming. At least no yellow. Rice is looking racy. Jesus. Lift off. We're so spread out right now that... The last restart was much better than this restart. The whole field was on top of each other, but this one not so much. That's okay. We're in 20th, so we just need one person to wreck and we'll finish our 19th. It's already tight as hell and I can't turn. So we're going so much faster than we ever have. I don't know the trick. I am lost for what the trick is. Hit the yellow line and nearly threw myself into the wall. Three to go. So now let's try to get past the wreck before they set the running order. But I really just hope they wait until the white flag to wreck. So then we get the free spots. I could have thrown it inside there, but I don't think I can pass. I 
Get to the white flag. Before I have to attempt to make a pass. A little wall tap there. Got him so freaking tight. I'm just... Okay, I'm just gonna give him the outside, but... White flag. There we go. All right, now you guys can wreck. There they go. Only one car. Gonna get a couple more. I uh, guess where we're gonna finish. Unless Bryce takes this run and passes us. Or they do some more wrecking. And there we go. Nineteenth. Nineteenth. <laughs> it was all too obvious that was going to happen as we ended up there over and over and over but zero incidents gonna lose some i rating probably drop about 60 but again that doesn't matter zero incidents for us at daytona i had no speed i just i'm so bad at these i'm missing something to get it to turn so hey, hey oh. why are you crying there we go. Shut that off. Let's just jump straight to 30s and see what happened. Wall hit. hit and the 13 just driving up the track and wrecking himself and then 21 goes for a ride let's watch his whole journey they're up in the wall and 14 comes down trying to miss it big old skid down the back stretch but Oh, no, I thought he was going to miss this wall, but he's going to get a little bit of it. And then, 12 misses a shift and goes around. And then, 7 gets into the back of the 5, then wipes out the 6. 15, nowhere to go there. And then... Really, not a whole lot happened after that. So just minor hits. Then, 12 misses a shift again, or is just really slow on shifts, and the 11 wipes him out. So that didn't even happen like I thought it did. I thought he'd turned down there. Then 21 lifts off and just gets sent. Everyone gets around him though. That was a hard hit. Then the 13 got up in the wall. Luckily he was slow enough there that we were able to change our lanes and lift off so I didn't eat the wall. But nothing after that. So just uh very, 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 very slow, as always. Maybe one day I'll figure this car out, but until it's looser, I just cannot, cannot run it. I'm just so slow. Would we lose? 46. 
better than I thought. So, you know what? Got out of there with zero incidents, and it didn't waste too much of my life. Positives. And we beat Bryce. So, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.